There's strobe lights? Oh, my ass looks fit. <laughs> Where you from? I'm from India, but I, I'm from outer space. I like this. Not what? there, bottom. No, not there. In the middle. Like. In the middle? I'm talking to my sister. Oh, okay. Also, like, you're from India right now? Like, you're at India? Yeah, yeah. This is my mother uh, land. You're at India right now. You're in India right now. Yes, yes. What time is it over there? I'm gonna dim it. It's like 2 p.m. 2.16. It's 2.16? Yeah. It's 2.46. Oh, then. Damn, Don't play that one. Play that later. That's some red SpongeBob nails over there. That's amazing. You scratch someone's SpongeBob. eyes out. Not tell me for us. Are you from Texas? Yes. Brown. Yeah. Brown girl. <laughs> uh, what's going on with you guys? Nothing. We're just chilling. Chilling. Like a yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you at? I'm in India right now. Mm -hmm. so it's sunny. It's oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's nice. I like the purple vibes of the room. That's like brown chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys know about the chakra? About the what? The chakras? The chakra mm -hmm. system. No. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that's an immediate term. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, damn. <laughs> Do some research. Yeah. Do some research. Wait, did we meet like lifetimes ago? Like eons ago? I don't know. I don't know. How can you not know something? I think so. Significant piece of information. I think so. That was in my last lifetime, though. Yeah, last lifetime, exactly. So we probably connected. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, I knew it was you. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. On oh, me, I, know, you, I knew you looked familiar. Yeah, shit. Okay, good, good. So um, which spaceship did you actually end up taking? Oh, uh, I took UFO 420. Oh, yeah. you took that one? <laughs> okay, good, good. Yeah. Because I got worried for a second because then the like the ha hyperactive chamber beam that you were like going through, it was like super fast for you, right? Yeah, yeah, that shit. I mean, I felt like I was in like Top Gun or some shit. Top Gun? Really <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I know. It's like, why is she turning into Tom Cruise right now? Like running in slow motion. Like Right. That's what I was saying. Space got me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're back here again in this new incarnation. What are we going to do differently? Shit, I don't even know. You don't know? I've, yeah. been, I've been living the same exact life. Yeah? Ain't changed shit. Wait, nothing has woken you up or shocked you? Nope. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a Hindu sea monster in this lifetime. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a oh. human that time. I'm a, I'm a Hindu sea monster incarnated through a human vessel. Uh, what kind of sea monster? It, like, protects the temples, like, the front of the temples, called the Makara. It, like, takes all the Hindu gods to travel across the Ganges, and, you know, I just help the gods to move to where they need to be. But now some pirates of the Caribbean shit. Yeah, straight up, right? <laughs> but now I'm, like, in this yeah. body... You know, started off looking like Eminem, but then my hair grew out. Now I'm looking like Thor or something. <laughs> oh. He said Eminem. <laughs> and now, like, I'm fucking, you know, in this Indian body right now. And I can teach the Vedas, you know, to the West. But, like, I'm not yeah. sure, like where to take it, you know. I guess I got to be, like, the next Osho or something. Yeah, see, shit, like, that, that shit ain't happened to me. Like, the aliens abducted me. Okay. And they, like switch shit around for me like they made me restart but then my shit ended up being the same so like what the point was what was the point in abducting me 
I didn't get that shit. It was like men in black. Uh, she got me fucked up. Like, what did they look like? Uh, shit. They was just real ugly. That's all I know. I don't really know what they looked like. They was just ugly as fuck. Mm. Ugly too. Talking some gibberish and shit. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Like I know a- I know what one of them said, though. I know what one of them said. I understood it. They called me a bitch. I heard it. I understood their language for a second. They called me a bitch. I was like... Uh, fuck. You know, yeah, I had to shoot them with one of them lasers. Probably has to do with that intergalactic war that we were in, like, a little while back. And yeah. The fucking prejudice of that. You know, going on. Sorry, <laughs> this shit is confusing me now. You see, too. She's making no, me think I love you're alien. I actually love that you played along. Like that's fucking dope. And I immediately <laughs> no, because I actually that's crazy. Because I actually be doing that shit. Like I be on the phone with my friends, <laughs> and he be talking to some alien language. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like what the fuck is a beep boop? You know? Yeah, they be like beep beep bop, skip beep bop. I be like, oh, <laughs> okay, bruh. <laughs> You're a fucking vibe. So. Oh, me too. Shit. You have a good day, though. Welcome back to the channel, Gods and Goddesses in Training. Today I'm talking about my greatest lessons from one of my most favorite guides to work with, which is associated with my solar plexus chakra. Father Janus, or Sir Janus, as we call him. And, um... His energy is ultimately very, very powerful. And today I'm gonna gift you his N, his signature, his mantra, which is going to help you to tap into his energy. And his energy can really gift you, gift you with the state of flow. This is one of the first beings that I worked with starting out on my magical path working because I wanted to be very flow state centric with my mysticism. And I had reached out to one of the greatest, um, you know, sorcerers uh, who is currently doing this is Frank White, okay? And I had uh, gotten a consultation with him, okay? Not cheap, okay? Uh, however, very, very effective because he opened the door for me in order for me to walk in through that door. And I started to learn more about Janus, the bridge or the gatekeeper and... You know, he's the one who helps you go through the portals or the doorways. And in the Hindu pantheon, you would almost think of him very close to Ganesha. And so there's a two-faced version of Ganesha if you've ever seen it. So Janus is usually depicted as two heads. And it really teaches you about duality. He's a presence pocket because he optimizes past and future together in one form in one symbolism. And again, this is all coming from my individual downloads through this energy and choosing to work with this energy, okay? So before we dive in, let's do uh, the N first, so you guys know what it is. The channel Satanya also uh, created this N for me. Um, I asked them to create it for me. They did a good job. They did a very good job. So if you want, you can YouTube it as well. And again, sometimes you have to overcome your fears around these practices right because there's a lot of like religious dogma and different things preventing you from actually tapping into some of these amazing energies which can actually help you like expand your life you know it's sad because a lot of people turn to these teachings at their most lowest vibrational points you know where they're like i'm sick and tired of this i need something to change i want my entire life to change and they're committed you know and they're all in and they start doing these practices But I'm telling you guys to be very, very cautious around this and set up your own container and parameter really well when you're working with these energies, okay? And um, that's all you really need to do. Make sure you know how to banish. Make sure you know how to add a kill switch. Uh, I'm still learning as I go through different maneuvers and different ways to do this. But let's get into the mantra, okay? So you just repeat this mantra before you sleep or in the morning. So this is best done, I feel like, in the morning when you wake up because he's more likely to give you access to that alpha theta bridge because you're waking up with cortisol. You're waking up with a beta brainwave, right? A very fast, like stressed out brainwave at times. That's what wakes you up out of your sleep, okay? Indian guy doing this, you know it's gonna be a good video. Let's go. Janus, right, comes from January. So next month or next year, I should say. 
we're going to be tapping into Janus's energy for the whole month of January. It's gratus sum Janus. Ut medoni dominium in statu fluxus. I welcome Janus to gift me mastery over the state of flow. I welcome Janus to gift me mastery over the state of flow. I welcome Janus to gift me mastery over the state of flow. You can do it in the English version if you want, or you can do it in the original Latin, okay? It's up to you, but this is a very, very powerful mantra that I've just given you. Now use it responsibly, use it wisely, okay? Because that energy is going to speed up your timeline and it's gonna make things a lot more crystalline which means you'll have a lot more clarity, so you need to know what to do with that newfound clarity. Otherwise, it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel like you're kind of, uh, you have all this like engine, but if you don't know where to focus it, it's like, it's gonna be really chaotic. So you wanna know what to do as soon as you tap into this frequency, okay, in the mornings. You wanna have um, kind of a structure or framework to your schedule, okay, your scheduling. Um, and really getting back into that because um, I'm starting to understand the power of blocking out your calendar, you know, really timing things in uh, properly. So, So what Janus taught me is that anxiety is being filtered through this understanding that this state is undesirable, but it's really excitement that I'm feeling. It's excitement for the future to unfold. It's that anticipation that's the engine that moves the vehicle. Instead of punishing yourself with your anxiety, try and see it as a portal, a gateway. What's beautiful about my anxiety? What's artistic about my anxiety? What's glorious about my anxiety? What is supplemental about my anxiety? It's your relationship with a fear of the future, a fear of the unknown. It's a mental teleportation into a horrible future. That's anxiety and that's where you start to get panic attacks. You're panicking because your ego is literally shutting down. What you thought was real was not real. And there's a moment where you catch your ego. It's like an ego crisis mode, an ego death that you might experience. People call them meltdowns or breakdowns, but it's really a breaking down of the ego is what's happening a lot of times. You have no grip on sanity or reality, right? And so you start to fall down into this very ambiguous, vacuous, you know, space. So Janos is a firm believer in really celebrating and congratulating yourself and having your inner self-talk be like a proud father, like a, like a dad who's just proud of you irregardless of what you do. And, but he still shows you that tough love and he moves you forward and he loves you so very much. That energy of the divine father, the heavenly father energy is going to cleanse your heart space and it's also going to cleanse your solar plexus space both at once, both the masculine feminine kind of identification center. So can you be heart centered as well as hold on to your identity and um, not clinging to it but preserving it, like really uh, being in servitude to it, to, um, to understand that it's a privilege to be able to construct ourselves and refine ourselves. So I'm constantly grateful, man. And I think gratitude is one of those frequencies and energies that just allows you to rise out of the gunk, right? The muck that you're stuck in. This is why Tony Robbins stuff works so well, right? How many times has that guy just been like, just feel into your heart and like melt into your heart space and just 
you know, thank you, say thank you. You know, how many times has that guy done that? Like he understood that gratitude was the scientific way of saying happiness and he was programming people to be these happy robots, right? By just touching their heart and accessing that space. But what if you already had access to this? It's just, there's layers of gunk or belief systems, which is some of the work that he does too, you know, reframing and all that stuff. But even he has a tough time transforming people. So think about what we have to go through, you know? So understand uh, a couple of things that you might be wanting to work on is your connection to your inner sovereignty and your inner authority. I've noticed that a lot of the times uh, these figures of the past would come up like a really annoying math teacher that just limited my potential or, you know, just like uh, a schoolyard bully or something like this, right? And these characters have actually shaped my understanding. They're almost like little boulders in the dam, kind of like slowing down the flow, right? And so I've got to recognize that and send them love and clear that energy up. It's gone, right? So Janus believes in a pure, clean vessel. He doesn't believe in like holding on to stories, like really rearranging it and like years of therapy of analyzing this one trauma to get to the precipice or crux point of it, okay? Yes, the more you talk about it, the more you're desensitizing yourself to it. He does believe that. However, he also believes in a very big understanding of mind and body are working together constantly. So your mind affects your body, body affects mind. And so if your mind feels like I can't handle this, your body is going to get into a slumped state. It's not going to... Uh, it's not going to be effective to you. But then let's say you take a supplement or a drink that's like that huge prana shift, right? A huge burst of fake energy that you have now in order to change your state around. Now, you do know that with that spike, there's also going to be a crash. So this is what you start to understand on this flow state path working is how you maintain your energy is pretty much everything, right? That's the trimurti in a sense, okay? Which is, you know, which is Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, okay? So you've got to understand that there is a small child and an old man, okay, version of you. In the future, there's a version of you as an old man. And in the past, there's a future of you as a young child. I want you to imagine like grandfather and grandson playing together in your own internal world, in your own mind, okay? And he's like maybe teaching the young child some wisdom. This is the visualization Janus taught me. And it's very, very powerful if you just think about it, okay? So it's technically you, but the association is almost like, think of it like a grandson and a grandpa, right? Amazing. Just kind of feel into that visualization. What's coming up for you? Maybe it could be memories of your own grandfather Maybe it could be that feeling of uh, mentorship. Maybe it's a feeling of I'm passing on generational wisdom. Okay, think about it. Really, what does this symbolize to you? Because these are two aspects of your mind coming together. Your conception of the past and your conception of the future. And remember, this is both you. This is both you. So there's some kind of a hemispheric thing happening right now, right? where you keep weaving in and out of this kind of mental simulation that you've generated. You know what I'm doing right now? This is so weird. But as the sun is glowing on my third eye right now, I'm kind of moving back and forth and I'm noticing like, I'm in the shadow, I'm out of the shadow, and I'm finding like the precipice point between shadow and light, and I'm allowing myself to rest there. Like unconsciously, I think Janus is doing this through me, but this is really, really powerful, guys. So I'm finding the perfect blend of light and shadow through that the shadow play right through the window and, and so forth so very very key very very powerful man these lessons are something that i've really deeply embodied as well through the years that i've worked with this energy and um i mean another thing that janus really stresses is like another thing janus stresses is how you are thinking affects your biology okay so he's a really big proponent of like epigenetics and so forth so he always kind of tells me to keep that 
masculine mindset alive throughout, like just 24 seven, you know? And um, I forget at times, you know, I become distracted in this waking world. There's a lot of bullshit that comes up sometimes and you know, I re get reactive or I get into my feelings a lot, which is highly estrogenic. But I understand that that mindset, that masculine mindset, you know, that comes in, that testosterone-fueled mindset of we shall overcome. I think uh, it was King Jin who explained this to us. King Jin is the elemental king of fire, okay? And as I was channeling him, which was very difficult, by the way, I'm a water being myself, so, you know, I work with King Nixa, which is the complete opposite of that frequency. However, it was an interesting one for me. But one of the things he said is that protest song for the American Civil War, right? We shall overcome. Right, that there's something to that energy of masculine development and progress, right? That I will not be kept a slave forever, you know? I'm going to find my time to shine and that ray of hope, that ray of sunshine that allows you to peer into the edge of your mind and actually see that you might actually be able to change things around, that you will be able to make it that you get the reference experiences telling you to be a certain way, but you can decide what those mean to you. What if I started to call my relationships karmic bonds? Imagine how that would change my internal world around. Imagine if I called my business team comrades, how would that change my internal world, you see? So this is really a uh, part of Janus' teaching is you want to understand how to take the thing that's terrifying you or scaring you and kind of just meet it in the middle and hold your state, hold the state that you truly want with it and slowly al allow the stronger frame to overtake the weaker frame. So one of the strongest frames that I've understood is the source or God, okay? When you are wearing God goggles, you auto-correct yourself into a super consciousness, okay? So to think like a God, you would understand that your words create. So you get very conscious about the word activation process. If you're saying things like wicked or Hell no, okay? You're creating these dark circumstances through your words. You understand that, okay? I don't have to just point this out to you, but you know that the way you speak is getting you to feel a certain way internally about something. And the feelings may start to accumulate if you don't take care of them right away, right? If you don't call it out in the moment, like I've struggled with this quite a bit, but just like calling things out in the moment, that's been a very challenging thing, right? Um, because it's not easy. We don't want to offend others. And we live in this kind of like walking on eggshells mode at times, like around people. And it's like, that's a weak way to live, bro. I don't want to live like that anymore. You know, I, um, want to remain in my most freest state. And I want to declare that free state Does she accept all of me, right? Like, I'm not going to only present one part of me to this woman. Like she'll get to know me and see that, whoa, there's like complexity to this character here, right? And it's not this unidimensional being in front of me. People are very complex, man. Oh yeah, you know, it's just a basic bitch. Oh yeah, it's just a regular bro, okay? You look at people and they look average, but their internal worlds may be holding something so different. They might have eons of development internally that they don't recognize yet, or they haven't even activated it, okay? So when you create this enchanting love spell internally, you create a pocket, a conduit, a container for source to come through you. You start noticing that you're taking and downloading information from Akasha, okay? The Akashic records and so forth, right? You will be able to slowly tap into this invisible information that's always kind of been available to you right now. This morning, I was like tapping into the collective consciousness of the planet right now, and it's very skewed. Like, it seems like two poles are like twisting at the seams and the Taurus field is getting skewed out for a lot of people. That's what I felt like internally. It was just like a, this kind of energy happening right now, like a torque or something. And um, 
I was uh, feeling that internally, right? I was embodying the collective unconscious, or as Jung calls it, the collective consciousness. And I was feeling it through my internal body and it felt like a pressure cooker situation happening, okay? Now, now that I have a reference of that, of that empathy level expansion uh, visualization that I just did, by holding the entire planet on my inside world and watching it just do its thing, I understood that through that, through my breath, through calming myself down, finding my own human resonance within, I can figure out a way to calm this earth energy through my perception of the God goggles that I'm wearing right now, you see. So very, very key practices here. This might, this stuff might seem complicated at first, but it's really, really very simple. Once you understand his teachings, you will know how to trust your synchronicities better because you'll know that, okay, that means that in my own subconscious and this relates back to third grade again. And you'll be able to piece things together and connect the dots basically, okay? He's a very big proponent of connecting the dots. And so I'm gonna leave this video here. Obviously, if you wanna know more about this, how to work with him, how to amplify your process, reach out to us. We have a mystery school as well. Okay, if you're called towards that, definitely sign up because it's going to change your life absolutely forever okay and um yeah man uh, stay in touch have an incredible day may the flow be with you and stay legendary let's get it upward spiral may we never be the same again i'll see you guys on the other side Ellis.